Yay, beautiful Scarborough. So a little bit of info about Scarborough. It's actually the largest Yorkshire seaside coast town and it's actually split into two. It's got a North Bay and a South Bay. The Arbour is the oldest part of the South Bay. The Victorians developed further south. They built a spa. Um, they engineered this beautiful green bridge, as we call it, which connects the spa to the town. Uh, the hotel, which is the Grand Hotel, was uh, renowned around Europe in the 18th century. This part of the harbour is steeped in a lot of history. The church is where Anne Bronte is buried, and there's even a ruined castle. I've decided for this painting I'm going to base it on the harbour and I climbed all the way to the top of the castle just to give you this amazing view of what the harbour actually looks like. And this is round about the spot I was when I took this amazing photograph which I'll be working from. And so I begin and this is my usual method when I'm um, drawing out. I um, print out the same size image is what I want to paint so they're both exactly the same size and then measure using my trusty old wooden skewer. So what I tend to do is I sort of work freehand, well by eye really and then when I check it with my skewer I realise that I've done it all wrong and I have to rub it out and start again. Oh. I find this stage quite tedious um, as I'm always wanting to rush forward to start painting, but obviously this is a really crucial part of the painting um, if you want it to look accurate. I'm almost there now, working on the left hand side. It's amazing how many cars and lorries and things are actually parked on this kind of middle pier section. Um, and I'm not really up on painting cars and drawing cars, but I thought, well, they're there, you need to include them. There it is, all finished, looking a little bit messy. Oh, and this is the lovely part, the first putting down of the first brush strokes. I always enjoy this part. It was a really sunny, lovely day to say that we were in March um, and the sky actually was this colour, which is always a little bit weird in this country because it's um, nearly always grey and cloudy, especially on the East Coast. So I start by just blocking in everything, top and bottom, and just wanted to get rid of the white uh, of the paper again. Um, so these, although some strokes will be seen, these are just literally just to, so that I can understand the, the tonal range of where I'm working from. So this will all be sort of underneath. I uh, went on my own to Scarborough, which is something I've never ever done before. I've nearly always gone with family or friends and things. So that was, that was felt very strange sat there on my own. So now I begin painting the houses. Hundreds and hundreds of houses all perched on the hill trying to get a good view of the harbour. And it was literally like one big jigsaw puzzle, which um, I made quite a few mistakes as I went along. But hopefully nobody really notices that. And the castle. I mean, I've visited this quite a few times as a child, and there's not really much left of it when you get up there, but you do get some amazing views from up in the castle. Worth a visit. So I start painting the harbour wall here to try and sort of connect the top and the bottom together. I 
think it was about this point that I started to get a little bit disheartened because it all started to look a little bit sad and dreary and drab. Um, but I thought you need to carry on and start, you know, start with the houses and things like that. This will brighten it up because there was some really nicely coloured shop fronts and things. Where this row of shops is, is a row, there's a road in front of them and it runs all the way around from the south to the north bay and it's this really nice drive. Uh, you can see all the open sea, surfers, lovely. So for any of you who aren't aware, I'm doing kind of a tour of the Yorkshire coastal, coastal towns and this is the third one I've visited. So I'm doing one a month, so this is March. And the other two are available to watch also. Finally on Robin Hood's Bay. It'd also be nice to, to plot the seasons changes as well. I always like to work on a section and then work all the way around it. Um, this this is a, a way so that you can sort of work out. I mean, if you put a black next to a white, it makes the white whiter and the black blacker. So this is the idea of this. So I'm putting the green next to the orange, make the orange pop. That was the way of thinking. such an array of different architecture on this front and um, you go from the really really old to the, the really quite modern I think this building is a casino actually but it does look a little bit out of place that next to I think it's a pub next door that's obviously quite traditional and probably built in Victorian era but I guess that's how it's evolved over the years and it's always been that way Growing up, our destination for the seaside was always Scarborough and Filey, but other families always went to Bridlington. And what I've discovered over the years is if you went to one, you didn't usually go to the other. And this is why I know Scarborough inside and out and Filey. So although it's um, almost spring, there's um, no leaves on the trees or anything like that. Um, but you could still see all this colour, um, which I tried to pick out. There are a lot of reds and pinks. There's a path which I'm indicating here, which runs all the way along the back of these houses and properties up to the castle. So there's quite a different route, two different routes you can take up to the castle. This is the more sedate one. trees in the background, um, adding texture and volumes as I go, using like a dry brush method as well to try and just build up the effect. What I've come to realise uh, using gouache is that um, the, 
the colours never stay the same colours as you first put them down. So the darks always go lighter and the, the lights usually always go darker so you've always got to sort of go back and retouch and just keep this in the back of your mind as you're, as you're painting. After working on all the detail of the little tiny houses, this is, this is a nice respite from that um, and you can be more expressive. I'm kind of glad that it is, um, that there's no leaves on the trees because I think it, it would just be all green. So you can see how bad my actual sketch was underneath here, but I don't mind wonky wonky lines, It's I think it always adds to the character of it. Um, I've never used kind of like a ruler or anything like that. So many windows. It was at this stage that I thought, is this actually even working? But I think what I needed was to get on with the water. Um, and then I thought that would kind of pull everything together because this actually is it's not the main focus of the, the, the event, this is just sort of the, the middle ground. I think the boats will be the, the more interesting things. This I'm painting here is actually a huge boat that's uh, in the water on the other side uh, of the harbour, um, which had loads of like fiddly lines. Um, but it, it was nice to do something different <laughs> than paint windows. So that's the houses, the castle and the trees all blocked in, now down to the boats. 
Scarborough is such a busy place and it's nice just to come to the arbour and just sort of relax and just um, take in the water and just it just instantly calms me down. love being around water. At this side of the harbour, the water's a lot, a lot more still than the other side, so your reflections are far nicer. And I was so happy that the, the water was still in because um, when it's not, it's just uh, down to the mud and not as, as interesting. I'm glad I finally got round to the boats and the water. This is the part I've been looking forward to all along. Um, it's a place where you can express yourself more rather than in the rigidity of the painting houses and windows. I really enjoy painting water, it's so easy to capture reflections so quickly uh, and you instantly, your eye instantly tells you that this is water um, and that's how you see it. I guess looking back I should have worked on a larger piece of paper you know, so that the detail would have been there but I, I was quite happy with how it turned out. I hope I'm inspiring you to get your gouache paints out and start painting and also to go and give Scarborough a visit.
really hope you've enjoyed watching this little video of my uh, little tour of Scarborough. Um, if you have, please subscribe because um, there'll be more videos coming up.